Good morning, Divine Feminine Twin Flames. I am here today with, I'm Jennifer. I am a Twin Flame Healer, Alchemist, Theta Healer, Mystic Oracle, Shaman, and I am going to read for you the Oracle and Tarot cards um, regarding your ascension, how to become more in alignment and attractive to your masculine counterpart. So this is a journey that you are on um, for yourself. And that is who I serve. I serve the feminine collective. And today, this is take two, because the first one would not um, work. <laughs> so we're going to try it like this. And um, I was guided to use Egyptian theme today. The first pile is Horus, the second pile is this cross, which I wish was an Ankh, and this uh, last one was is the pyramid. So go ahead and choose your pile. And then I'm going to draw a card for you at the end. Um, I can't decide. I think it's going to be an animal card. So because I changed the format here, let's look at where I can take these cards. All right, oh, that's not how I want to do this. <sighs> Hanging man in reverse. Pisces energy, six of swords, ten of cups. Because I've seen this pile already because I've tried to do this. This is the way they came out. Sunshine yellow dragon. Emoja, grace. The Holy Spirit and yes. Okay, so what I got from this pile immediately was the presence of third dimension reality, especially focusing on animals. Um, animals share a plane of existence and they are asking you to have this interaction with them right now um and from what i can see right so you have animals animals animal present here with your beautiful ten of cups confirmation card um from what i can see is that there is some desire for you to move away from a troubling situation um this one actually came out in reverse um that you do not feel really supported divinely um, by grace and that you were kind of stuck and now you're becoming unstuck. And one of the ways for you to move on from the troubling waters, which in this deck, it actually talks about, um, when it's in the upright, it talks about slow, steady, progressive movement. When it's reversed, I read it as basically swift movement um a green light go and i do see the holy spirit coming in here to offer you grace as you get unstuck okay it says that only love is real miracles occur naturally spirit has your back and it's again with the dove here this natural, um, talking about naturally, nature, that nature is so present here, especially animals. You are here to help and serve animals, to heal and respect and understand them in the ocean, in the air, on the land. Um, it, it will actually bring you the emotional, I know this is a, what we look at as a happy family, but your family may be animals. You may be an animal communicator, empath, psychic and healer or you may just support that their um journey on earth but it will actually bring you the emotional fulfillment that you are seeking so it is time for you now yes to move ahead it is time for you to um get out of that hangman energy um and this card in particular he has tattoos all over his body 
that are um, relating to the natural world, sun, moon, and stars. And I do feel like that is also significant for you um, in terms of like coming out of, you know, even here we have a door opening, coming out into the light of if your family, friends, or even maybe your current romantic partner, if it's not your DM, doesn't approve of this choice, um, it's time to make it a public, a public statement. Now remember, I'm gonna take this one because it fell out. Oh, you have dove spirit. Isn't that beautiful? Um, again, with the dove being at peace. Be at peace and know that spirit's guiding you. Be at peace in knowing that it is time, you know, this is a general reading and it's for entertainment. So take what resonates with you and know that your life, know your own life and what's safe for you and what's a good decision for you. Um, but this is saying, shine the spotlight, make it a public declaration, come out into the world and let people know that this is what you stand for, this is what you believe in. Um, and that you are a force for good in this world. And this is going to lift your vibration, accelerate your growth, um, help your ascension, and also be very, very attractive to your masculine. I am feeling in this group that there's a few that haven't actually met their masculine um, and that you might meet them that way. They might also be animal advocates. Um, but that... They're going to see your growth, your confidence, your belief in yourself in this cause, and it's going to be very attractive to them. So I hope um, that serves you. I'm looking for the time, but I cannot see it at all. So then, all right. So I'm going to go on to group two. With the cross. Beautiful lovers. Is the six nine of swords in reverse the chariot royal blue and gold dragon Kalima protection intention the cosmic egg this is very beautiful so this is the final card in this deck this is the symbol for the divine feminine it's also you have two um, confirmations here on your twin flame. Of course, this is a general reading and you need to take what resonates with you. I also consider the cancer symbol, um, a confirmation. So here, it looks like you're coming out of the nine of swords energy. Um, perhaps that Meeting your divine masculine has caused you some sleepless nights, heartache, worry, anxiety, fears. Um, it looks like you're moving forward from that. This, for me, is a very high-level divine feminine. Um, what I would call like an illumined feminine or a way shower, somebody that is kind of far along in this journey, simply from this card and this card, um, that you are going through some spiritual changes. It is a time for you to shine. It is time for you to recognize this um, intense force of divine feminine energy that you hold within you that comes from either a goddess or a royal line of that is fairly ancient and here you may be asked to cut the cords of some relationships that you now have hold in this third dimension so you can um, call back your power and call back pieces of you that you have left behind. Um, it's time for you to strengthen your wisdom and power and to stand fully in your divine feminine power. You have this majesty that you are 
not using for the world, right? You need to work with the angels. You need to work with your higher guides and source energy and whoever it is that you feel connected to. I'm not seeing a clear message in here except for Sandal Fawn. Um, and also, I am feeling a strong um, Pleiadian presence here with all of this blue and also this desire to speak your truth um, and come into balance with who you are. So if you need a cord cutting, you, you can, or a soul retrieval ceremony, if you feel like you're at that stage where you need to um, have some energetic work done on yourself, it's going to help you move past this. Um, if you're ready to just fully step out of this nine of swords, um, then this, this union is going to go forward quicker. Um, but it is calling for you to be in balance internally with your masculine and feminine energies to don this cloak of royal wisdom that you hold inside and to use it with high, high intentions. Um, I'm actually also seeing a Lemurian Atlantis type feeling. I'm getting that from these hibiscus flowers they keep showing me. Um, so if that's something that calls to you, also check that out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull your animal oracle card. Let me see if there's anything else coming through. Um, I am being shown and guided to these, right? We have twin flames, but in this picture, there's actually six flames. And your situation, um, you might be dealing with families that you can't just let go of. Um, and I also want you to think about protecting any children or people in those families that need your protection. Ah, uh, see, Atlantis. Um, Dolphin spirit, this, is, this and that are true. And you have the 20, which is a two. So yes, I do feel a strong Atlantan. Pleiadian, um, historic, you know, lineage. <sighs> Something's holding me back from talking. And so I feel like part of this is hidden and that you kind of, you guys kind of speak your own language. The dolphins are speaking to me right now. Um, that you, to protect people around you. And um, it is time for some of these cords to be cut. It is time for some people to move forward and perhaps from your family, perhaps from their family, but it is time for you to really stand in your power and to really use this golden blue energy um, You know, using your your crown chakra and your throat chakra to really bring in this wisdom that you have, this ancient wisdom. I'm sorry that it's not a more specific message, but um, it's not coming through for this pile. It's just that this is... Um, this is having to do with the blue ray and this is having to do with um, sound vibrations, um, speaking truth and empowering feminines to speak their truth. So that's a beautiful message. I hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful cards. All right, and we are at 14.40. And the third message for the pyramid. Five of Wands, 
<clears throat> Beautiful Ace of Cups. I love that card. The Moon. So we have some Neptunian, Piscean energy, or Cancer, depending on how you read it. We're just having a discussion about that. Charity, you're already doing it. Intuition. Saraswati, the god goddess of self-knowledge. Okay. So we have some interesting energy here. Um, it looks like in this one, this is actually quite a bit of masculine energy coming through on this pile. Um... You have the Earth Dragon, which is actually the first dragon in that deck. It's a fourth dimensional dragon. Clears your path and the land around you. Stay grounded. Be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing and you can move forward in life. So this is in reverse. So what it's telling me here... I'm actually reading this not so much as conflict as options that are all kind of perhaps fighting you or trying to get your attention. Maybe four, maybe less, um, or maybe five, but in different ways, they're trying to kind of pour their cup. In this deck, this cup is empty. Um, of emotions, quite strong emotions onto you and you're kind of remaining hidden and this is kind of keeping you stuck. Um, this indicates that it's your intuition that you're keeping hidden um, and that you're already practicing some spirituality um, but that it's not perhaps apparent to people around you. And it is time for you um, to clear to clear your path around you. It's time for you to this is a weird message. Um, keep doing what you're doing, but let it flow and let it come. Let it be divinely guided. Let it flow and let it be seen a little bit more so that it clears a path around you so that you don't have to make a logical I'm getting this this is a logical decision between things and people um like she's on this she's on this path and then it's foggy here in front of her right and over here is a path of pillars that is there's a light at the end of this, what looks like a spiritual path, but she's looking in the other direction. She's actually looking over here. And what she needs to do is turn and, and walk. And I feel like what you need to do is ground yourself, serve. These are both asking for service, um, divine service. Perhaps connected with an earth energy, perhaps the shaman energy, perhaps. Let's see what's coming through. Just service. Um, in the third dimension, bringing a fourth and fifth dimensional um, heart to it, right? So you have these beautiful roses, which remind me of Mary Magdalene. You have. Um, her offering a lotus flower and a crown and healing um, and you know actually bringing your intuition heaven down into earth you see a tree here so there is also a strong indication of nature here a tree a tree flowers trees trees um, that you work with something bringing 
your intuitive abilities that you're already doing. Like this isn't something you need to go get training for. This is something that you're doing. You know, this is, yes, it's, it's secret right now, but it's also healing and it's also, um, evolved, right? So whatever this is that, that people are trying to conflict you with and tell you you need to do or be or maybe, you know, saying you need to marry somebody, so-and-so, or you need to, you know, keep this job or whatever, um, and you're being pulled in many different directions emotionally, either to start something new or to have allegiance with someone, um, what I see is that you're here for service and it's your service that's going to make you really attractive and, and create exactly what you want. Um, this one's talking about everything that you want flowing to you. And this one's talking to you about connecting with heaven and receiving. And I see that kind of heavily in all of these cards. Um, but that you also need to be grounded. So to have this nice balance, um, sometimes as feminine, we stay up in our upper chakras because it's really comfortable for us up there rather than facing what's down here um, in the third dimension. And also I think it's kind of significant that the pyramid was chosen for this pile because it is such a grounded, weighty um, structure that also, you know, housed what, what they considered the royalty, their spiritual beings. And um, it does have somewhat of a symbolic meaning that, um, you know, that we see it as kind of a spiritual structure now. All right. And then we got dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. So it's, you know, it's interesting. Um, there is a need to be loyal to what's truly in your heart and not just to please everyone around you that is having a strong opinion on, on what your life needs to be. So take some time and really connect with your intuitive spiritual side and see what's calling to you. All right. I hope this message has helped you. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, leaving comments. Um, I really, really appreciate you and, um, I'll see you next time. Bye.